So you said you used Caliber on your second one? I did. How'd that go? It was awesome. Smooth transaction. This number, it's what I said. It's not the best. That's I said the second one's the best. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I just and it's not, it I, this is I just have to hear it again. Literally not even planned. This was <laughs> not planned. Like, <laughs> I didn't try to put this story together. This is the truth. So it's kind of funny. Yeah. That's awesome. That's no, it was hear. awesome. Great. So quick question. So last thing, so we can, uh, and this is, uh, so if you could give some suggestions or uh, advice to first time homeowners, because right now in the military, especially in the military world, first time home buying, you know, first time homeownership is, is going through the roof, right? Yeah. More and more young, you know, sailors and soldiers are willing to become homeowners versus yeah. renting. So what advice would you give them? Um, I would say that the number one advice is understand the financials, right? Understand like the whole process, right? And, and, and read about it, right? So that way you have a background. Uh, and it's really easy, just Google it, right? But first time homeowner. And then you're gonna have a step-by-step, -step, you know, uh, recommendations from some many folks. But, you know, for me, it was understanding like, okay, what does it mean? So I do, what is a conventional loan, right? Mm -hmm. What is an ARM, 7-1 ARM, right? What is a, a VA uh, a loan? Uh, what do you mean do uh, what what's PMI right mm -hmm. uh, if I don't put 20% down then I get you know a fee sure. that's you know doesn't it's just throw, based on almost throwing away money in yeah, essence right it. that's the way I see it uh, and there's a lot of terms so and you I would write them down and when you do that interview with a, that real estate you know agent or that realtor you ask them those questions and based upon the way they answer them you know and if they make you feel comfortable and you can understand it, then you're probably on the right on the right track. Sure. Um, to me, that was really truly important because you know I'm looking at how much money I got in the bank, and I got this nice little pre-approved letter, right? It says you can afford up to this much. Okay, cool. That's great. Uh, do I want to spend all the money? Does that make sense? Or like, but you know, I need to furnish the place after sure. this. I need to you know deal with a couple of their, you know potential hiccups or whatever it is. But really, what am I paying? Like, how much am I paying? Because then I started thinking, like, oh, I got to get home insurance, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, I got to uh, got to pay property tax. You know, how much property tax? Easy when you're buying a home that's been on the market, right? That's been built. It's a lot harder when you're buying a new construction, sure. right? Especially in your new development, because it's a guessing game for the first almost year. Yep. The county will, you know, will come out, and at the end of the year, they're gonna be like, wow, you know, yeah. it's actually a lot more than that, or like oh, yeah. a lot less. So. The bank there, my lender is kind of like trying to ballpark it sure. based upon similar houses around and, and, and stuff. So, but this is all really important, yep. right? I, and so to me, you know, on the financial side of the house, understanding what you can truly afford, what you should, you know, go after, um, what all the, you know, little details and, you know, the little bills you're going to have to pay, which sure. is really not that many, it's, you know, home insurance, property taxes, and then your mortgage, right? Uh, and then understand the interest, right? Yep. Can I, you know, can I buy a home um, and uh, lock in a rate, but is that rate adjustable if there's a better rate, you know, right. within X amount of days of closing? Sure. A lot better when you're doing new construction. I think that's, you know, that's where I would start, yep. right? It's just um, understanding, like, it's a huge deal. Uh, and, you know, and also understand what your plan is. Are you going to, pl are you planning on staying in the military? Are you, you know... What are you going to do if you move, right? And my recommendation is you're in a gold mine when you buy around military uh, bases. Because mm -hmm. when you move, you rent. You're going to have, man, I, rent, if, I don't know what the numbers are, but I would assume if you did a study on it, and I'm sure many studies have done, you know, there are probably not many places that are left vacant. Um, and I, what happened with me, right? I rented right. for... Five years. And it was always, you know, the military. So, and so someone else was paying my mortgage. And then I won out when I sold my home. Maybe I shouldn't have sold it. Sure. Yeah, no, <laughs> but I shouldn't have sold it. Yeah. Well, yeah. we want to thank you for being on the show today. Absolutely. Appreciate it. So, this has been another great episode of Homeownership Heroes. I'm your host, Brian Burjans. I want to thank Florent Groberg for being on the show, and we'll see you next time.